I feel like I'm not doing enough. Is there anything else I could be doing to get clients? I post on TikTok, I post reels, I post in groups, I post valuable content, I post tips, I send out emails to my list, I create videos and graphics on Canva, but I'm still not getting any clients. Is there anything else I should be doing? Let's talk about this. My name is Karma Hunter, brand mentor and a conversion strategist. I help coaches, consultants, and online business owners create a quality pipeline of leads so that they never have to worry about where their next client is coming from with simple evergreen marketing strategies. If you want to learn more about evergreen marketing, evergreen content, copywriting, and simple business strategies to grow your business online, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive the notifications on my new videos later. One of the questions I get asked by new coaches and new online business owners is that they have been posting content on social media, on different platforms, they have been consistent and they've been frequently posting content, but they're still not getting any clients. So today we're going to talk about what type of content you need to be posting in order to get clients on social media. Posting content consistently and frequently is great. It's great to get your content visible by more accounts, by more people. However, posting content doesn't really bring you clients. Social media or platforms don't bring you clients. They just help you get more eyes on your content. But what type of content you put on social media and what you say in your content is what's going to bring you leads and help you turn them into clients. So let's talk about what type of content you should be posting on social media. Content is king, but only if you have a good content strategy. And content strategy does not mean how frequently you post or which platforms you post on. So what does content strategy really mean? Content strategy really means what type of content you post and the purpose of the content also what you say and how you say what you say in the content. That's exactly what content strategy means. So let's first talk about the type of content you have been posting. One of the biggest mistakes I see online business owners make when creating content and posting content on social media is that they're following trends. They hear from gurus and influencers and content creators that, okay, use this audio, um, do this challenge, um, do this type of video and use over takes lay on this audio, use this trending sound. Those are great tips, again, to reach more accounts and make your content more visible by more people. However, if you're a business owner, if you're a coach, consultant, a service provider, you don't need everybody to see your content. You only need relevant people to see your content. You need probable clients to see your content. You need potential leads to see your content. So. Following trends is only going to give you the vanity metrics, which is the numbers of your reach and how many people actually saw your content. That may be great. It may get you motivated a bit, but that doesn't mean you're going to get clients from that type of content. Honestly, most of the time, Trends won't even bring you much engagement because people already saw this trend. People already listened to this audio. 
people have seen this idea already so maybe they're gonna like it but they're gonna scroll past it they're not necessarily gonna engage with it or comment or um, become a lead for you at all so that's why it's important that you're not only listening to the tips and tricks about how to reach more people or how to become more visible, but that you are actually creating convertible content and creating content for your audience. Now, I don't mean don't use trends. I definitely recommend you to use trending audios, trending so sounds and things like that. However, only if it is relevant to your niche, only if it is relevant to your ideal client. And here's the thing, you can always make, not always, but in most cases, you can get a, take a trending sound and make it relevant to your niche. You can always get a trend, trending challenge or a, a trend itself and actually have a different angle and make it for your audience. There are a lot of creators that I follow and I watch their content. They have nothing to do with business or marketing. I have a creator I follow that he is a runner and I take some of the trends from him. I see some of the trends or some of the trending audios from him. Does that mean I'm making videos about running? No, I am taking the trend or I'm taking the trending audio and I am having an angle to make it relatable for my audience. Here's a side tip. When you are listening about these different social media strategies, tips and tricks and hacks, pay attention to who these are coming from, right? You could be listening to big influencers and gurus and what they're teaching you, what they're telling you is right, but for what type of business model? What type of audience? What type of niche? These are very important. So take it with a grain of salt and always adjust the strategy or the trend or the tip or the hack to your business model and your business niche and what your ideal client needs from you. So when it comes to using trends, it has to be relevant to your ideal client. And here's the thing, if you are only following trends um, and doing videos that are relatable or only doing videos or trends that are motivational or inspirational, you may get lots of people liking it you may get lots of people maybe commenting and, and giving comments about, oh yeah, how much they liked it, how much they related it. But that's not going to bring you any leads for your business. Just because people can relate to your content does not mean that they are considering your services. Recently, I did an audit on one of the new client's content. When we looked at her content that she's been posting, I saw that it was relevant to her target audience. However, mostly the content she's been putting out was either relatable or inspirational, motivational type of content. So she's been getting visible, she's been getting a lot of reach, and she's been getting a lot of likes, but she hasn't been getting any leads from that. Why not? because basically her target audience relates to it and they say, oh yeah, haha, ha, like it and pass by it. That type of content does not show her ideal client, her target audience that, hey, this is what I do, I can help you with this. Or it doesn't say, if this is what you need, I have the solution for you, right? So that's 
very, very important. Which brings me to my next point, which is what you say in your content and how you say it in your content. Let me know in the comments below, what's the most challenging thing when it comes to creating content for your business? I'll see you in the next video.